Hello, honey bunnies. I hope that hurt your ears. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay, I am extremely hyper because I had two cups of coffee and I am looking through your um, comments and I like what I see. So you guys are really liking my DIY series for Halloween and I'm gonna keep bringing you more. So you better make sure you thumbs up if you really like it so I can give you more. Okay, so we are going to create these fabulous, did I say again, fabulous DIY goodie bags. These are so cute guys. I love these goodie bags. They are so, 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 so easy to make. These are fabulous for like a Halloween party or even like a kid's party. Even if, um, I don't know, even if you have like a birthday party, you can obviously, you know, change the theme and create it as a birthday or even like a bachelorette, bachelor, uh, a wedding, a uh, um, baby shower. I mean, whatever. You can do whatever you want with these. Today, we're going to create a Halloween goodie bag because obviously, from the title of this video, it's my Halloween series. Okay, so, I'm sorry guys, I'm really hyper. I really did have two cups of coffee and I am like, if I talk fast through this video, that's the reason why. That's what happens when you have two cups of coffee in less than 20 minutes, okay? So I'm very sorry, I apologize in advance. Okay, so what we're gonna do is very simple. We're going to be using these little circle rosettes that we, um, is that what it's called, rosettes? These circles that we made earlier um, in my, I guess what, one or two videos before this one, I showed you guys how to make these really cute, simple um, embellishments made out of lace. I will link that at the bottom of this video. If you haven't seen it, please go and check it out. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And um, and you're going to see how easy it is to create these, okay? So we're going to use some of these that we have already created earlier in our past video. And then we're also going to use some cupcake liners because you guys know me. I love cupcake liners. It's nothing more inexpensive to use than cupcake liners. So I love it, okay? So now, the only thing that we're going to use in this particular tutorial that's not really Halloween, like... Mm, I guess tradition like it's not really like a Halloween tradition to use hearts but you know what we can break the rules okay we're gonna use hearts nobody tells me I cannot use hearts in Halloween ha! so I made some hearts over here with my favorite Martha Stewart punch okay and I cut out some really pretty hearts using Halloween paper right why not there's nothing wrong with that so the first one that we're going to create is going to be this lovely beautiful goodie bag right here i also took out some doilies that i had in my craft room as well as these doilies that i bought last year at um michael's okay so and some washi tape okay i have my hot glue going in the side I don't have my water, which I just noticed, but that's okay. Hopefully, I won't choke on this video. Okay, so let's get started so that you can see how easy it is to create to create these really fun goodie bags. And then, after we create these two, we're going to create another goodie bag that has nothing to do with Halloween. But you know what? We're going to turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it into a Halloween goodie bag, okay? All right, let's get started. I am really hyper. Okay, so I'm using these clear goodie bags that I bought at Michael's. I love using these because obviously they're white, so you can use these for anything, and you can definitely decorate them however you want, okay? So it's always good to buy solid colors like white or black or, you know, these colors that are easy to manipulate with different kinds of things, okay? So, we're going to take out two because we're going to create, actually, no, let me correct myself. We're going to take out three because we're going to create two right now and then we're going to create another one later. Okay, so, let's do this one first, okay? Let's concentrate on this one first and let's take it easy. Let me drop my... Um, my hyperness to like a five okay right now it's into a ten i'm gonna try to drop it into a five okay 
All right, so what you're gonna use for this one right here is we're going to use some doilies, which I have here already. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use some of these doilies, which I absolutely love these because they're so glittery and they're so much fun to use. So I'm gonna take one of these out in black. Look how beautiful it is. Isn't that gorgeous? The glitter is absolutely amazing on that. And I'm gonna also take out a orange one for our project that we're gonna do after we're done with this one, okay? Let's put this on the side. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create our embellishment, which we already know how to do that because I already showed you on a few of my videos. So I have here one of these little adorable tiny um, lace embellishments that we created. We're going to line uh, we're actually going to embellish this lace with a cupcake topper. You guys know me how much I love my using my cupcake topper for this, okay? So we're going to flatten it up. We're going to squish it in the middle, okay? And we're going to try to make it a little bit tinier. And I showed you guys how to do this in one of my, I don't know, videos i have have already out three videos for the uh, halloween series i'll link all of them at the bottom of this video so you guys can take a look at it um but yeah i showed you in one of those videos i showed you how to create this it's very simple i just you know squeeze a little bit in the middle try to make it a little bit smaller and then i had to glue this to the whatever you're layering layering it onto okay very simple so let's do that now we're going to layer this on top of this beautiful embellishment so I'm gonna use hot glue because obviously I love my hot glue I am a, a fan of hot glue okay so there goes our first super easy embellishment okay now to this one we're going to do a lot of layers okay because that's how we're going to create this fabulous goodie bag there's a lot of layers in here okay so to this um these two layers i'm going to add another layer which is this lacy one now i made this also in advance but i already showed you how to make this in my other video mm -hmm. so we're going to add this adorable cuteness in the middle of these two with hot glue okay just like that and you know what I think I know why I'm so hyper I looked at my um, my channel and I'm over 2005 subscriber I mean 2500 I cannot believe it I am so excited guys every time I see those numbers go up I'm just like super excited because I then I, I feel like you guys really do like my videos and it gives me more motivation to give you more goodies and more fabulous videos and yeah so I think that's why I'm happy that's a good reason to be happy right I don't see why not okay so to this one now that we did our three layers we're going to add our hearts now I already punched out the hearts in advance because I obviously I want to save some time but it's no it's not hard use your punch and just punch out some hearts go punch crazy go heart crazy but make sure you use Halloween colors because we want to make this Halloween goodie bag okay we don't want to make it like non Halloween so make sure you use Halloween colors here I use this really pretty orange and then here I use this cute skeleton okay so to that to my little circle I'm going to add my um, heart okay but before I do that I forgot to mention because I'm so freaking hyper I am going to use a little bit of this streamer that I bought at the dollar store not too long ago. And I'm going to add it to the corner of my embellishment. Whoops! It just flew out of the table because my fan... Oh look, I found another one on the floor. My fan is on. Okay, so to this, I'm going to add a very small piece to my embellishment so here's a little tiny piece you're going to just squish it squish 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 into the size that you are happy with okay and then once you find the size that you're happy with you're going to glue it to the corner of your embellishment okay so this is this is what i got it's just very tiny i should have probably zoomed in guys i am so freaking hyper i cannot even tell you you guys are going to be like jenny this is the worst video you have ever made and I probably have to agree with you. 
let me zoom in i can't even zoom in that's okay there okay so to to my um to my embellishment i'm going to add this cute little tiny streamer okay so i'm just going to have glue very generous amount to my streamer onto my embellishment okay and then i'm going to go back and i'm going to reinforce it with more hot glue because i do not want this to go undone and there you have a little tiny piece of streamer just right peeking out right in the corner of the embellishment okay let me add more hot glue because i'm like i'm going i'm going with i'm going through these hot glue like crazy okay there we go perfect okay so to that we're going to now add our hearts because you know that gives a little bit of prettiness to the embellishment see that it's cute okay so let's add our hearts okay so we're going to add our hearts however you want to add it you decide how you want to add them it doesn't really matter is your choice is however you like how it looks you pick babies you pick okay so I'm going to add this heart uh, right here and what I do with my heart so it kind of looks like it's lifting from the embellishment I kind of just get it and just kind of like bend it like that see I bend it so it looks like it's kind of like lifting it looks like a dimensional kind of okay so we're gonna put a little bit of glue to this heart and I'm gonna add this heart like um maybe here okay look at that already we did our first embellishment God. we are so good together I cannot even tell you look at that beautiful okay so this embellishment we are going to add to this little um uh what do you call this doily okay so we're going to add this embellishment to this doily so let's hot glue the doily a little bit in the middle okay it's a shame we're going to cover that really cute spider but we have to because we have to keep our doilies together okay so it, yeah i know it's a shame but it's okay it's gonna look beautiful either way okay so there's that and then we're finished the only last thing we gotta do to this embellishment is add it to the doily which is right here okay so in the back i'm gonna put more hot glue and generous amount we're gonna add it to the center of our doily We got our first project done. I love this. Isn't this cute? I love how it looks. Look how pretty it looks. So what I did was, to finish off the goodie bag, you're obviously going to add some goodie in here, right? And after you add the goodie, you're going to seal your little envelope. Okay, you're just going to fold it down very carefully. And I just added some washi tape to it so it can stick down and it doesn't um go undone so i'm act i'm actually adding my washi tapes from last year and i'm just gonna seal it here with washi tape pretending that there's candy in here okay let's just pretend and then we're going to add this to the center of our goodie bag okay and make sure you want the direction you want it to look and we just created a really adorable, super cute, amazing goodie bag in no time. Look at that. Now tell me that's not adorable. I just love it. Isn't it cute? Oh my God, 14 minutes. Okay, guys, let's do the next one, okay? I am so behind. Okay, so we're going to do this one next. Okay, it's very simple. Same concept, okay? Nothing different. Everything is going to be the same concept. We're going to use our circle that I already have here ready for us. And we're going to add this circle to the middle of our doily. We're going to decorate a circle with another circle, which in this in this one, I'm going to use a black one, okay? So I'm going to go black on black. Mm-hmm. Black on black. Mm-hmm. 
so that's gonna look cute there so let's hot glue this circle to the bigger circle okay so you'll get that you'll get two beautiful layered lace circles see that and then in the center of the circle we're going to add more hearts okay this time I'm going to use these two hearts that I have here okay so we're going to add a little hot glue and we're going to add it to the center and then we're going to add another heart and we're going to add it to the center as well okay and the only other thing that I did different to this one is I added some little flags so I'll do that right now with you let's see here I have some extra paper that um, I have here on the side okay so we're gonna use this to create a little kind of like a little flag see how this has a little flag right here that's what we're gonna create okay so let's create that right now and I'm just using leftover paper okay I'm gonna snip the little ends to create like a little banner okay and then we're going to hot glue this banner to the back of our embellishment okay and just make sure you like the way it looks before you hot glue it okay I like that so we're gonna hot glue it where's my hot glue oh here Okay. And before you hot glue the second one, make sure you get the right position, okay? I'm going to do it just like that. Okay, so I'm going to hot glue the second one. There we go. And there you have it. See? Let's clean this out. See? Beautiful. And now we're going to hot glue this to a doily okay again we have to cover this beautiful cute adorable little spider but we gotta do what we gotta do right okay add it to the center oh this one came out so cute I think because of the orange in the background see how that how pretty that looks that's a really nice combination the orange with the orange and the black it looks really pretty. I like that combination. And I'm going to give it one more little, which is this tiny, 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 tiny. Actually, no. Let's get a bigger one. This purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This purple, pom-pom, we're going to add that to the middle. Mm-hmm. And that's going to give some cuteness to our goodie bag. Look at that. How cute is that, guys? I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to attach this to our goodie bag. You can leave it as is, like that if you want. But I am going to use my black doily because I am dying to use this black doily. I got to tell you, okay? Dying. So we're going to add some hot glue to the back of the embellishment. And we're going to add it to the center of the doily. Oh, that looks adorable. Oh, this looks really cute. Let's put that on the side for now and let's pretend that we have candies in here, okay? So we're going to seal again our little bag. And this time I'm going to use these cute, adorable cats. You see that? These are cute. I also got this at the dollar store. This is the washi tape, okay? These cats are adorable. Okay? So we're going to close it. See that? That's cute. And we're going to add our embellishment to our goodie bag. 
it's probably better to add the embellishment first and then add the goodie bag because it'll probably give some like um some like it'll give some it probably will look good so first do the embellishment and then add the candies inside okay and boom the second one complete I am loving loving these projects look at that look how cute those are guys aren't those adorable okay so I have one more to show you okay now let's just suppose for any reason right because this these things always happen I like to always have like um like an extra um, idea in case um, we don't have like these embellishments because not everybody has Halloween embellishments maybe you're just starting to scrapbook and you really don't have a lot of supplies well I'm gonna show you a very easy way how you can transform any goodie bag into a Halloween okay so here we have a goodie bag that actually has nothing to do with Halloween right it's like pretty it's purple and it has these cute little dots here let me take it out Okay. I love this one by the way. I got this at Michael's. So it's just a simple, really cute goodie bag or envelope or whatever you want to call it. I like calling it a goodie bag. And it's just really beautiful. It's simple. It has nothing to do with Halloween. But we're going to change that, okay? So I don't want you to feel that because you don't have Halloween embellishments that you cannot make a Halloween goodie bag or anything else that I do for you. I always try to find... Um, solutions to those of us who don't maybe have access to these things okay because not everybody has them I mean you know not everyone has them so let we can't assume that everybody has Halloween items at home right so let's suppose that you want to transform this into a Halloween I'm gonna show you how so I already showed you guys already showed you how to do these little adorable laces um, circles okay so I use purple in this case okay I use purple lace I just used again my template I had to glue my pur my purple lace onto my paper and I just created this really fun looking um I don't know flower ish looking embellishment again I already showed you guys how to do this in my I don't know one two maybe three I'm not really I don't remember what which video I showed you but I will link all that again at the bottom of this video okay so so let's just suppose that we don't have anything that's Halloween inspired I just got you something right now this purple little lace is perfect okay now everybody has white doilies at home if you don't have white doilies Listen, you can get these anywhere. The dollar store, you can get them at Michael's, you can get them anywhere. Even the market has doilies, okay? So we're going to embellish this purple lace with this doily, okay? So I'm going to hot glue the center of the doily. I gotta tell you though, everything in my bones is, is what I want to use this purple I'm sorry, this orange doily is so bad because can, you can just imagine the contrast between the purple and the orange. Everything in my bone is telling me to use this, but I don't want to use it because I know that not, a lot of us don't have those kind of doilies at home, okay? But a lot of us do have this kind, which is a simple white doily. All right, let me stop talking. You hear that? cream truck do you guys realize that every time I make a tutorial the ice cream truck is outside you know what if I ever have my own like scrapbook line I'm definitely adding an ice cream truck somehow in my line I don't know is it a is it luck or is it just coincidence I don't know all right so anyway so to the doily I added this cute embellishment okay see that already it's coming up fabulous right that's right okay so, I cut out some hearts using some purple stripe paper, okay? You can use whatever you want, but because we don't have, supposedly, we don't have Halloween stuff, I just used this stripey purple-ish with orange um, paper, and it kind of gives you like that Halloween inspired because it has the orange, has the purple. So I did the same thing with the circle. I punched out a circle with the same paper, okay? And then um, I have here a black and white because it has nothing to do with Halloween, but we can definitely use that, okay? So to my embellishment, I'm going to hot glue this circle onto the middle, okay? Okay, 
there we go already it's coming out awesome and then to the circle to the circle oops okay to this circle I wanted to say I wanted to add this but then if I add this then I'll cover this so I'm not doing that okay so to the circle we're going to add the hearts so we're going to add these hearts these two hearts okay so I'm going to again open my little heart or bend my heart so it looks like it's kind of flying off the paper and I'm going to add this to the center and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to add it in the center in a very random manner And then I'm going to add a pom-pom because we all have pom-poms at home. I'm going to use this purple one because it's just so beautiful. I have here, here, I have a few here. I have white, I have red, I have purple. I want to use purple. But you can use white if you want or you can use anything you want, okay? But I'm going to use these purple because it's kind of like the purple theme, right? It goes. So I'm going to use, I'm going to add one in here. And I'm going to add another one to the other heart. So I'm just adding two little pom-poms. Okay. And then, there you have it. There's your embellishment that has nothing to do with Halloween, but we just created a Halloween. Now, you can also put stickers if you want, like Halloween stickers. You can put... um with veneers but again I'm going with the mentality that we don't have anything that has to do with Halloween so I'm trying to make it simple and I'm trying to make it like you know easy okay so to to our our goodie bag we're going to attach this okay so I'm gonna hot glue this onto the bag and again you can use streamers I mean streamers are very easy to get and I'm sure we all have streamers at home right you can use streamers if you want to make more like you know more of an embellishment look whatever you want guys seriously whatever you want okay and then we're going to seal our goodie bag with more washi tape okay i have this one that's halloween inspired i got also this at the dollar store i like it because it has purple and it kind of goes with my theme but again you don't have to go with purple you don't have to go with halloween go with whatever you want if you have purple washi tape that also would work fine okay so we're going to seal our bag with this adorable washi tape and there you have it guys okay and there you have a simple easy goodie bag that had nothing to do with halloween but we just turned it into a halloween see that let me oh let me zoom out hold on where is my remote control let me zoom out so you can kind of see it better because then the camera won't focus. Okay, so you see how easy that was? How simple, right? And you made it Halloween inspired without even having Halloween things. Well, okay, except for the washi tape, but you know, you know what I mean, right? I try to give you options, guys. Because there's nothing more, I have to say, there's nothing more that bothers me when somebody tells me you know what you have so many halloween things of course you can make halloween stuff but you know if you don't have anything that's halloween related make it into a halloween related um item we can always always improvise okay so that's the first one oh actually the last one we made was this one i really like this purple one i think it's so adorable i absolutely love this one i think that um, I just kind of really love these colors together. I think they look so, so pretty. And I absolutely, I think my favorite has to be the orange because I absolutely love the orange doily. See that? And then the pom-poms are just adorable. I kind of really love the orange. So you tell me at the bottom of this video, tell me which one you like the best, okay? Tell me which one you like the best did you like this one did you like this one or did you like this one i i'm very interested to see what you guys are gonna say i really like this one i don't know i just love the 
orange i love the the pom-pom i love this contrast right here all right honeys oh my god this video is 30 minutes long ay 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 okay i'm leaving so i hope you guys love this video um i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i did i think you can tell by the sound of my voice i really enjoy doing these goodie bags and i really enjoy bringing you you guys ideas i don't know it just makes me feel i don't know i, I like bringing ideas to people and i like when you guys um you know find new things to do and i just i enjoy doing that i really do enjoy bringing um things to people so i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys thumbs up if you're not subscribing make sure you hit the subscription button at the bottom of this video let's make my subscriber count to five thousand <laughs> okay i don't know is that possible is that even possible i don't know we'll see hey we still have a few more months before the end of the year right it could be possible all right guys no but seriously i hope you really love this video i am going to bring you much much more my i didn't want to say anything because every time i say something i never really like go like and accomplish it i'm very like i don't know but my idea behind this series is i want to give you like 31 videos okay um halloween you know i uh, just i'm trying to give you like between 30 to 31 videos before halloween is here so i'm hoping that i'm able to do that for you guys and i really want to i really 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 want to do that so um yeah so that's what my goal is for um for us right because i'm doing this video for you guys so all right, guys, I hope you enjoy it. I'm so sorry I talked so much to this video. I am really, like, super hyper. I have to really apologize again. But um, that's what happens when you drink two cups of coffee, okay? All right, honeys. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Please be safe. Um, and thank you all so, 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 so much for your fantastic comments. I read them every day. I really try to get back to you guys. It's really hard because I do have a full-time job. This is not my job. I don't do this for a living, although I would not mind. But I do have a full-time job, so it's kind of hard to catch up. But I, I, do, I try to do my best to um, answer all you guys' questions and... Um, and I haven't, if I haven't gotten to you, I promise you, I promise you that I will do my best to try to get to you, okay? Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for your sweet, lovely comments. Thank you so much for your support. I would never get tired of saying that. You will probably get tired of me saying it, but I will never get tired because if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would never do this. I would never be inspired to do these videos for you. So, um, yeah, and that's that's basically it guys um really thank you so much and i will see you guys again on my next video diy what am i doing next i have no idea but i have a book so don't worry i have tons of ideas in this book so i'm just going to go and flip the pages and pick another diy project for you guys okay all right honeys i will see you in my next video i'll let you go now